I went to Google and I searched visualization techniques for manifestation and this is what came up right at the top. In this video I'm going to show you why in my many years of experience none of those things will work and then I'll tell you what really does. Stay tuned. Now before I tell you all of that, just please take a moment, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, just hit that little subscribe button and don't forget the little bell icon as well, because when you hit the bell icon, you get notified when I upload new videos uh, and uh, hopefully they'll be even more useful than this one. Who knows? So please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you get told. Right, let's dive in. Now, you'd be forgiven for saying, well, hang on a minute, Trevor Emden, who are you to tell me about visualization when they're like, that's the top uh, result that comes up in Google, and they must know what they're doing, right? Well, that's just a rehash of stuff you and I have heard a bazillion times before, and I immersed myself in the law of attraction. I got trained in it long before The Secret came out uh, in metaphysics. I got trained in it. I learned to teach it. I studied it. I lived it. I immersed myself in it. I even wrote books about it. Um, and that stuff <laughs> never worked for me. Well, never. It very rarely worked for me. And the point about that is, if it's a law of the universe, it's got to work every time. Any kind of law. Gravity got to be pretty reliable, right? Otherwise, we'd be floating around half the time. Okay, so do I have results now doing what I'm about to tell you? I absolutely do. I found um, true love. I've been happily married since 2006. I found uh, a way to, a way, I found I can now do the work that I love every day, make money from it, loving what I do, doing what I love. Didn't used to be, I'd be chomping away at, at, on a treadmill of jobs that I hated. This is what works. So, um, I can, all I can say to you is, I don't need to prove it to you. I'm just going to show you what I know and then invite you to try it for yourself. You do it as an experiment. Do it for three weeks, three, three months, if you can, if you can uh, remember to do that. But just give this a try because what you'll see on that Google page don't work. Okay, let's move on. All right, now, let's think about this for a minute. What do you want to manifest? Because I don't know, I don't know you, I don't know your situation, but the usual kinds of things are, well, things. People want, I don't know, a new Ferrari, or, or to find true love, or um, a new home, or commonly, of course, a lot of money. But what I want you to think about is, why would you want any of those things? Because if you sit, and let's say you want a Ferrari, if you sit, close your eyes, screw up your face, imagine a Ferrari, visualize with all your strength and willpower and might, or, or in the meditative state, or whatever it is, I can absolutely assure you that when you open your eyes, there will not be a brand new Ferrari parked outside your home. That's just not going to happen, right? So. Let's suppose that the Ferrari is the thing you most desire with all your heart. You, you're tossing and turning at night, can't sleep because you want a Ferrari. You're, you know, out on the streets begging for people to, to give you a Ferrari or whatever it is. <laughs> right? So the Ferrari is like your obsession. Now, if you acquire the Ferrari, what do you think that's going to do for you? Because actually that's the point let's suppose it's true love that you want i want to find somebody i'm lonely i'm i'm fed up with my own company i want to find somebody to spend my life with and eventually she or he shows up and you're like, hey now how do you feel the dream house supposing you get it now how do you feel the money how do you feel because how you feel is what it's about so let's go back to the Ferrari. So you want the Ferrari, you want the Ferrari, you want the Ferrari. Now, if you get a Ferrari, then you are going to feel whatever it is, well, I hope you do, that you've been imagining you'll feel for a long time. Like you've arrived, the, the success, the joy, the, the pride. 
right? That's what you really want. You want those feelings, okay? True love's pretty obvious, right? You want the feeling of being loved and in love and having a companion and a friend and someone to share time and experiences with, okay? That's what you want. Now, what the, the teachers of the, on that Google page and most of the teachers of the Law of Attraction will tell you to do is imagine the thing. But the problem with doing that is no matter how hard you try, I mean, money's the worst one. I w I've read books, I can remember reading books that told you to imagine a big number on your bank account. I remember even printing off like fake bank statements back in the days when they came on paper uh, and even checks. Um, and putting, you know, made out to my in, to me with huge numbers in, trying to make that. I can't emotionally connect to even a series of, you know, zeros before the decimal point. It's like, yeah, woohoo! But a, I know it's fake. You know, it's not real money. I can't actually go and cash that check. And b, it's a number. I can't get emotionally excited about a number. Now, what I can do with the money. You know, the difference that can make, pay off some bills, um, you know, go traveling, whatever it is that, that money means to each of us individually, that's a different story. That's what it means. What you're after is the feeling. And also with money, particularly, peace of mind. It's like, oh, I don't, you know, if a bill comes in tomorrow, that's okay because I got the money. That's a very different feeling from if a bill comes in tomorrow, what am I going to do? Right? So the next step in the visualization process or the manifest, because forget the visualization, whether you can see it in your mind or not, the universe doesn't care, <laughs> doesn't care. Right. So the next step in the manifestation process is not the thing. It's just getting a sense of what it will feel like to have it. So let's go there now. By the way, is this making some sense? Is this lighting up some light bulbs? Because if it is, please just take a moment and, and give the video a little thumbs up. You know, that little thumbs up that's under the video, just go, ding, you know, just do that. Uh, leave a comment as well. If you have any questions, if you want to know more, then leave a comment uh, or tell me, you know, how helpful this has been. That would be, that's good to know as well. <laughs> okay, so. Moving on. Now this is where I get really controversial because what you're trying to do, all the visualization techniques you've ever come across before and that I'd ever come across before, tell you to, in a way, manage your own thinking. If I could just think positive thoughts, if I can imagine the thing vividly, if I can imagine myself having the Ferrari or the lover or the home or the money or whatever it is, right? then it will come to me. But just check this out and see if this is true for you as well. In my experience, and in the experience of anyone I've ever spoken to about this, as far as I know, this is what happens. The more you try to manage your thinking, the harder it gets to actually do that. Because the more you try and do it, so let's suppose it's the Ferrari, let's go back to that example. Ferrari, I'm going to have a Ferrari, there'll be a Ferrari there in the morning, oh, there'll be a Ferrari, it's going to be a nice red one, blah, blah, blah. The more you do that, what's also going to creep in is, no, that won't, you can't do that, doubt, right? Doubt. I mean, you might as well try and convince yourself that the moon is made of cream cheese, right? Because <laughs> we both know that it actually isn't. So it doesn't matter how many times you say it. Now, affirmations is in that list on Google as well. It's like... <sighs> You could have, I like Tony, what Tony Robbins used to say about affirmations when I went on his training. He, he said that affirmations you often use the way they're taught. It's like standing knee deep in nettles, going, there are no weeds in my garden, there are no weeds in my garden. That is what he said, the beginning of delusion. It's not going to make the weeds go away. And he's right. So what you need to do is to manage your thinking by letting go of it. Right now, this is like getting in your car and setting the GPS, the sat nav, we call it here, to go to a destination that maybe you've never been to before. 
right? Let's suppose your best friend has just moved to a new house and he, she tells you, right, this is the address. And so you get in your car and you go, you have never been to that town or that street before. And you tell the GPS, the sat nav system, they program it in. Uh, whoops, sorry, hit the microphone. And now you start driving. And you and the sat nav tells you, turn left, turn right, go, go straight, whatever it is. And you're eventually you're in territory, you have no idea where you are. All you've got to do is follow the instructions and it'll get you there. That's what you do with this. Forget the thinking. Because the peace of mind, the joy, the love, the lovability, even the money. Because money is a manifestation of a whole other set of videos about money. But the, the money is a manifestation of your energy, of your input. Money comes from you, not to you. That's a whole other video. Um, and, and there are lots on my channel. Go and check them out. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description to those. But go, all that stuff is within you already. So just when the thoughts come, it's like, I'd, I'd really like a Ferrari. Okay, right. So you kind of, you have your antenna out now. Ferrari opportunities may show up, right? I, I've never wanted a Ferrari, but I did get a Mercedes this way once. And the money, all the money just showed up on one day. Not the next day. <laughs> I didn't, I actually had almost forgotten about it. I'd given up on it, but it, it did happen, right? But you have to, it's only when you let go, right? Think about where your best ideas come from, or not where they come from, but when they come, right? Like when you're in the shower, when you're walking the dog, when you're in the bathroom, when you're about to fall asleep. It's not when you screw up your eyeballs and, you're, and you furrow your brow and go, oh, I must have an idea. And it's the same with opportunities and, and it will flow, it will come. And also when you're letting it flow, guess how you are? You're relaxed, you're chilled. It's like, this is where I am. This is, a, yeah, desire is fine. But, but telling yourself, I can't be and won't be happy until the desire is met is nuts. Because I'll tell you something, even if and when you get the Ferrari, sooner or later you're going to want something else. <laughs> and then what do you got? Oh, well, I've got my Ferrari, but I still haven't got the big house or 10 million in the bank or whatever it is. Like, are you just going to be forever chasing a dream? You have to let go of your thinking. Now, here it is. Look, I'm trying to condense this into a short video so that you can really get what the, what the principles are. But if I've rung any bells, if I've resonated with you at all, then what I'm going to invite you to do is talk to me. There's no charge, right? So there's a link in the description below um, where, you know, it'll take you to a page and you can book a call with me. Now, if I were you, I don't know when you're going to watch this. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around because my diary tends to fill up pretty quick. Um, but if you would like help with this, like how do I manage my thoughts or how do I make my dreams come true? And I don't care if it's business or relationships or just some area of life that you seem stuck with. Uh, it might be self-confidence issues, for example. Let's look at how you've got yourself stuck. And I know that's like, who me? I didn't get myself stuck. Yeah, you have to take some responsibility and responsibility. And I'm telling you now, that's the greatest compliment and advantage I could pay you or give you. Because if it's somebody else's fault or it's something else's fault, like, but you don't know my parents. No, I don't. Right. So unless you want to bring them along as well and I'll fix them so that you'll be all right. That ain't going to happen when you know you've got the power to change, then you're free. All you've got to do is know how to use it. So call me. Let's talk. All right. So there's a link in the in the description. Just have a look. It'll be there. Click the link and and we'll we'll get on a, a, a call and we'll chat. Now, remember, I said just before I wrap this up very quickly, remember, I said about money. If you want to attract money and understand where it comes from, watch this video next. That's really important. So I'll see you there. And don't forget, click the link and we'll, we'll chat.